Hello guys, in this video we're going to turn this picture into this architecture looking sketch. And this is another example for it. So I'm going to start from here. First go to image and image size and put it on 1350 and 870 for the height. And make sure you remove this chain here. And press OK and it will be a little bit smaller. So zoom in. Okay, so go to layers unlock the layer and right click on it convert to smart object and then add an adjustment layer put black and white so it will turn into black and white okay then go to layers again and click on layer zero let's name it house so we don't confuse each other okay go to house and filter stylize and put find edges and you'll have this nice effect then right click on it and go to blending options and add a stroke and an inner glow. So first add a stroke and you will see here there's like a white edge on the side. I put the size on 20, position inside, blend mode normal and 100 opacity and the color white. Then you add an inner glow and it will add a line but make sure you put on edge not center because, because if you put on center it will color like this. Put on edge, put the color black, opacity 100, blend mode normal, choke on 100 and size is 21 and the rest. Press OK and you will have this nice effect. So now let's add a new layer and in this new layer let's put this color here which is 003686 on the foreground. OK and get the bucket tool and paint the whole layer with blue. Let's name it blue and let's put it on screen and let's put the opacity on 53. And you will have this nice looking pen effect. So what we have to do now is we have to add a paper effect. So let's go to here and get this paper texture and place it inside the document. So both the picture and this building picture are going to be links in the description below. You can download them anytime. So press on this one, press Ctrl T and enlarge it. Press enter and in the layers place it underneath blue and then turn it into linear burn and you can see we're like ha halfway there so what we need to do now you can either go to adjustment layers and add levels it depends on your picture so some people would need to lighten it or darken it so it's your choice maybe a little bit darken okay and now what we need to do is go to layers and when you convert something to smart object what's nice about it is you can actually double click here and will open a new document so what we have to do here is go to layers and add a new layer and in this new layer get the marquee tool and draw a rectangle here so in this rectangle get the bucket tool and switch the foreground to white and just color with white here and add an And then you have to press Ctrl, Alt, Shift, E. And it will actually bind layer 1 and layer 2 into one layer, as you can see here. So now what we have to do is just press X and press Yes for saving. And it will transfer directly into the other file. And now here what we have to do is just write something. And I would prefer in this font, which I will show you later. So in this document, I'm going to just copy it. Control C on the text and just paste it here and I'm gonna move it and place it here so the font I used is this font with this size so you can choose whatever font you want but I prefer this one because it kind of complements this architectural sketch and I think we're done 